This is a Chucky Beat production. Well, hello there, Johnnies. Welcome back to another video here in some Forest Mode Part 7. Now we're back with another drip bill. And that's uh, gonna be Bone and Nissan. So, uh, import piece of crap. But, you know, we gotta make that, make that work, fella. You know what I'm saying, dog? I'm sorry. I. <laughs> What was that, dude? What was that? Alright, boys, what's going on, and welcome back. So, anyways, today we are drifting this guy right here, the Nissan IDX. Now, I've done a little bit of research on this guy, and apparently, quote-unquote, from Wikipedia, which is, is that really considered a quote? I don't think so. This is a concept car from Nissan, and it was going to be a direct competitor to the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. Scion FRS BRZ. It was aimed at young buyers and racing game enthusiasts. That's literally what it says, racing game enthusiasts. Excuse me, dog? Excuse me? Anyways, that's what we're building today. It's an inline four cylinder, and uh, it's probably gonna suck, but, well, <clears throat> I'm here to suffer so you don't have to. So as this is a competitor to the BRZ FRS Genesis kind of car, it's pretty light, okay? It's 2,400 pounds. Well, did we already? Yeah, we already did weight reduction, okay. Inline four, I imagine turbo. I would hope turbo. And if it's not turbo, we should be able to turbo it. Dude, I love concept cars. Dude, we got 20s on this Johnny right here. Bruh. And with the flywheel, the thingy is fully upgraded, the thingy, new terminology in here. And one thing that's very interesting, turbo. Look at how much horsepower that has, 116, okay? But usually when we get a stupid amount of horsepower, like that's a lot of horsepower, okay? That's the kind of horsepower we're talking about on like twin turbo, like V12s and stuff. Like that's a lot of power, right? Even for... For any motor, not necessarily just this four-cylinder, right? So anyways, look at the curve. The curve does not even go that sh that steep, okay? Usually when you go big turbo like this, this is very much considered big turbo. There's always a super sharp peak, and it just spikes hard. This is like a nice, pretty smooth boost curve. So by 2200 RPM, we've got a very good amount of torque. And, uh, well, it keeps on climbing from there. The power is so linear, too. Jeez, this is going to be a really interesting one. Honestly, I was kind of hoping we'd get some, like, mad 2J kind of boost spike, you know? Because 2J's have always been kind of cancer in Forza, just because of the way the curve is and everything. Anyways, we're going to drink the boys. All right, so here we are for our baseline tune over at Catalonia School, baby. I don't know, boys. I want to change in pace. I don't really care how long this video is. I don't want it to be like 15 minutes long, obviously. But the videos recently, I've just been in this rut of just boring, boring videos. And I've recorded like three videos today. We've got a, like GTA 5. We've got Forza. We've got another Forza. Like, I'm having a good old time. So if you aren't, like, that's just too bad because I am. And, well, I'm the only one that matters. We need to throw a baseline tool on this sucker quickly. Actually, do we? Dude, that's open diff. Like, I feel it trying to grip up. That's pretty good, dude. And with the log diff, boys, we have a fully upgraded, fully tuned Nismo XIXDS. That sounds like a, a drug. IXDS. What is this called? IDX. That honestly sounds like more of a drug. I, I'm glad the Nissan popped up and not something else on Wikipedia, if you know what I'm saying. Actually, if it's not a drug, it'd probably be an STI. And not the car ST, like STD, STI. Anyways, we're going for a different style of tuning, so we've got a little bit, like, less camber right now. Once again, I'm vibing to some, some breaking Benjamin, dude. We're listening to Psycho right now. Great song. So I decided to stiffen it up in the rear here. As you can see, usually I soften this up so we get squat. Squat equals grip. Grip equals thrusting forward. Nice drift, control, all that good stuff. But today, we're going for a little bit of loose vibes, okay? So I want to be able to just slide this sucker right around, get in them DMs and, uh... I can't say it in the video. Like, I will literally get banned from YouTube. Never mind. If you're in my friend circle, you know what I was going to say, though. But I really hope none of those people are watching this video. So I know I've only drifted, like, two corners, you know, since the last cut. <laughs> but this guy is so... I think I stiffened it a little too much, dude. It's so stiff, I can't even accelerate without spinning, dude. That's barely any gas in fourth gear. 
I'm, like, mm, higher speeds, it's all right. But uh, that lower speed stuff is absolutely cancer, and this is a low speed track. And I tune my cars for low speed, so yeah, it's kind of an interesting turn of events. Rip. Alright, so we've now reverted back to my old style of tuning, which is the good style of tuning that literally every other drifter in Forza uses, because it makes sense, and it's logical due to physics. And, uh, well, that's a pretty good start now, isn't it? Look at that control, baby! Call me C. Toretto right now. You won't. No balls. Alright, can we transition? No, well, I mean, technically, yes, but, uh... It's gonna take a couple of laps, dude. Dude, if we didn't have the, like, 36-inch dubs on this sucker, I mean, bruh. Contact patch would be hella fine, but, like... 255s and these big Johnnies, like. <laughs> Do we have no speed? Oh, that was almost gnarly. I mean, kind of. If I cut it at the right moment, then it'll look like I did it successfully. You know what? I just realized how similar this thing is to the Hako. And look at those gauges, bro. I thought that says Sparko too. We got like a racing style <coughs> Nismo. It said that this was a competitor to the Genesis and the BRZ, which I think is super cool, but I feel a car like this. I clicked the wrong button, right? A car like this, it looks like the Hako. It reminds me of like early GTRs, Datsun 510, like old classic stuff that are super cool in a lot of people my age, like, because that's what this is. It's targeted for Genesis, FRS, BRZ people. I think it would be super dope, but the thing about those cars is they're cool stock, and like, cool is relative though. For not that much money, you can do a decent amount, and you can make it your own car. You've got so many different body kits, and you've got so many different types of engine mods, turbo, superchargers, nitrous, cold air intakes, you know, full nine yards here, boys. On a car like this... It's already so crazy. What are you gonna do? You can't wide body this. Like, look at it, you know? So, Nissan, who will never see this. I would highly suggest they make a car. Although, like, isn't that what the 370Z is? This would be below the 370. Or th 350, 370. It would be below that, but still sports car. At that point, you have the GTR, you have the Z, and you have a one below the Z. Like, that would squeeze the Z out of the market, though, unless you make the Z, like, a, I don't know, 65,000 with pretty good options. So, 50 to 65,000 for the Z, which is ruining that car's price point. And you have the GTR at 100, and this thing's starting in the 20s, probably go up to 40s. Like, it doesn't really fit in the market, does it? Like, I don't see that. There's just not any space there, man. Alright, boys, I'm gonna get this reverse jump drift entry, boy! Yeah. Oh, that is so satisfying, boys. Get the trans. Hmm, yum. For what speed we had, that was just so good. So good. I don't want to drive all the way back there. Can I fast travel? <sighs> I want to just play Fortnite. Fortnite, please. I just want to fast travel in Fortnite. Like, I'm so tired of, like, looting. Like, Loot Lake just gets so old, man. Oh, boys. Okay. She's feisty. She's so feisty, bro. We lost so much speed there. Oh. Didn't initiate before the jump, but that's okay! 
It was almost not okay, but it's still okay. Bro, honestly, I love how light this thing feels. It feels so good. It's so light. Well, it, it's not light to the point of it being too light, if that makes sense. It's not like the vet cart, okay? If you missed the vet cart video and you're tired of me squawking at you because I'm insanely hyper right now, then go watch that where I was all chill and mellow like I'm usually. So you know how I was talking about that massive spike of torque we get that's just amazing and so crazy, 100 torque instantly. What? Can't feel it at all. Non-existent. This car literally feels like it has no torque at all. Like, maybe 50 foot-pounds? 50 foot-pounds? But once again, that's okay, because the thing just feels so light, and you can just feather the throttle and just go. Now, part of that may be because of the tire pressure. I am running very high tire pressure compared to what I usually run. I believe we're sitting on about 45 right now. Usually, I run about 28, okay? May not sound like that big of a deal, but that's double the PSI, which is a big difference, okay? A big difference. Dude, honestly, ripping this thing around is just so fun. I don't care. It's probably not going to get any points, and that's why we're not going online. And I'm not gonna be held in these lobbies or anything, dude. I just wanna be a free man. Do what I want. What do you think this is? The 60s, dog? Don't segregate me. I'm on my own water fountain. I swear I'm not high. Anyways, this guy, it's just, it's a little unpredictable. We'll say that. Now, on a track like this, the open for a test track, it doesn't have enough power. And the grip is just kind of like a little unpredictable, so you're not going to be able to get that many points anyways on the long, wide open corners, corners, straights, like they're kind of straight corners. You get the point, straight corner, good logic. Anyways, the car is just so fun to rip around, and uh, I'm having a good time. And hopefully you are too. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, boys, I hope you enjoyed this video, because I... Sure as heck did, obviously, because if you can't tell, like, I'm, I'm having a good old time right now, dog. Good old time. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have an amazing, amazing day.